there. I heard you lost your design center file or two, but if you're looking in a file like this one, you're not gonna find it. Come with me and I'll show you a short tutorial of how to find your design center whenever it gets lost. Let's go. We're going to be using AutoCAD to find the location of our design center. Okay, so in AutoCAD, as you know, design center is used for various processes, various applications, such as inserting appliances or fixtures in building drawings or likewise in mechanical drawings. Now, I'm more a building drawing special, and so I'm going to be focusing on that. So my usual shortcut to get to design center is control two. Okay, and so this folder or this window now comes up. Now I've gone to the most basic location there is so that I can walk you through exactly how to find your design center. Now it's, I like, this is for tree view. I like to have a tree view where I can see root folders and follow along. This gives a preview window. I also like to have that. And this one gives a description. That one can stay as well as not your choice. So now let's go and walk you through how to find your design center. So first thing, select this PC, then OS. Your letter may be different, but generally you're looking for your operating system. Then this entire stack of file locations will come up. Now this is what we call the tree because basically you have these branches that will go based on you pressing a plus sign. So, so we went from this PC to operating system and now we are in our files. So after operating system, scroll down to program files. Not program files, x86, but program files. Then our next location, we look for Autodesk up top here. Then from Autodesk, you will look for the AutoCAD that you are running on your system. I am running 2016, so AutoCAD 2016 it is. Then from there, I go down to sample, from sample, ENUS, and right here you have your design center. Now, in case you wanted to adjust your view, you could have put your cursor here until you get that icon, then you are able to slide along to make the view window larger or smaller based on your preference. So now we have the different drawing files in which we have different blocks. So the most popular ones used in building drawing are home. Click on the plus sign, then it gives you an additional branch. Click on blocks, and in here you will find things of the bedroom, general home things, sofa, table, piano if you want, <laughs> a plant, um, bed, and such. Then we have house, click on blocks, you will find things, fixtures and those things. So like things for the bathroom, you have your tub, faucet, pedestal, window in elevation, window in plan, and all of that. You have door in elevation, door in plan, garage door, and so on. And then the other one we use generally is kitchen. Click on blocks. And in here you will get base cabinets, upper cabinets. You will get faucet again. You will get your range your refrigerator, double sink, single sink, the typical things you will find in a kitchen, you will find in this block. So remember now your file location. So going back, it's this PC, operating system, program files, Autodesk, choose the AutoCAD that you are running on your system. And then you go down to sample, then ENUS, and there you will find your design center. And to get to the specific blocks you want, simply click on the plus sign beside the name of the file, and then blocks, and you will open. Now to insert your blocks, what you really do is a click and drag application. That's one way of doing it. So I can click my bed, drag, and drop. 
and you will see the bed in your drawing or right click insert block in this way I can change the scale of the drawing so I can change the size of it I can specify insertion point if I wanted to use coordinates I could rotate all of that could be done from this window and to get insert block I could also just double click and that would give you your insert block you can change so let me just play around with this change my angle to 90 and see what happens you see that the bed was inserted but at a 90 degree angle to the others so this is the basics of your design center how to locate it and how to insert blocks from design center to your drawing all right so there you have it that's how you find your design center in case it gets lost thanks for joining and i hope this video was helpful remember to like the video and share it in case you think it will help somebody else bye for now